comfortable. Um, but more importantly, some of the things that you're going to learn today is very much about what you can do to push the boundaries on your beliefs and what you're about. And you know what? The greatest thing out of today for me will be you walking out of here feeling more valued about yourself and your own ability and what you can achieve. And I've done this before with the management team four years ago, this is where I met Lisa. What's different this time around is we're doing it with everybody. So by the end of today, everybody in the hotel will have heard exactly the same things. <coughs> and two things will possibly happen. <coughs> One, we're all going to feel wonderfully good about ourselves, which I know that's going to happen. The second thing is some people might decide, you know what, I want to go and do something else. I don't have a problem with that either. But what we are trying to do is appreciate the value you have as an individual. So I'm going to hand you over to Lisa. We're all participating, I'm participating, and we'll all get, in, get stuck in. And keep, your, keep an open mind is all I'd say. I specialise in our incredible human potential. I used to work in hotels, absolutely loved it, it gave me life.
but coming back to this experience, you know, your dreams, your goals, and things, you know, you need to be focused. I'm focused, nobody is, is going to stop me from what I'm going to do. You know, to live my dreams, you know, I'm going to live my dreams, I'm going to go. My dreams are probably, you know, to have my toes in most of the beaches around the world now. So I've always wanted to go and travel and do things. I've also focused about truth and justice about what happened to those people. In terms of, you know, and Nate, Nate Ford is the one apart from the 1982? Yeah, uh, 94. 1994, so he owned, he owned his own apartment. So it's his house, Scott. And when he arrived here, he was very ill. And I had to keep telling him he needed to go to the doctor, he needed to be checked out, he needed to look after himself. And what we've tried to do is a hotel support him. And then he very kindly we raised through the hotels, West London hotels, we managed to get the hotels to contribute their space. And we just transferred £94,650 over to um, Grenfell United on behalf of, of, of these guys here. But we're very fortunate to have somebody like him as a friend of the hotel, and I, I'd like to think he's now a friend in life. But to hear that experience, you know, we all think we've got issues. Well, you wake up one morning and have no home, and you know, my heart goes out to you about your wife. We had met his wife, the only lady to be, to, you're lucky to have had 34 years. Yeah, absolutely. You really are, you know. That's true. That's true. that powers with yourself no matter what it is you decide to do and what you're going to do and I appreciate everything you are doing and I hope this is a, a, a gesture a token to say thank you for what you're doing just let's keep working together and we can bend as many bars break as many arrows as we want to if we put the, our power the collective mind together we can do whatever we want to do so well done and thank you I'm so proud that the team here, how they embrace the training and, you know, I watch them with um, guests checking in, guests checking oh out, God. luggage, breakfast, restaurant, the garden, the garden's got beach in it, how everybody's taking care of everything they do. It's quite a beautiful culture here, so the work Edward and I are doing is just to bring even more of who they are to life. Okay, lovelies, have a great day. Thank you.